Jesus replied, I tell you the truth, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. It was Easter Sunday morning 27 years ago as I was driving home from the nightclub job I had when God invited me into a personal relationship with himself that I was unable to resist. The love I experienced in my car that moment was beyond anything I had ever experienced. I knew God was with me and I knew he loved me. Deep theological things were not important at that moment. Even the sin I knew was in my life wasn't important. The only thing that mattered was saying yes to God as he invited me by faith to trust him for eternal salvation. I had no idea anything would or could change. I had no idea what God had planned for my future. I did know, however, God was with me and asking me to trust him. So I did. When Jesus told Nicodemus he had to be born again to participate in the kingdom of God, Nicodemus had no idea what Jesus meant. But doesn't Easter teach us a lot about this born again concept? Without the resurrection of the dead, none of us could ever get to heaven. We, we would be just like the souls Jesus led free between Friday's crucifixion and Sunday's resurrection. But because of the resurrection, we not only have the hope of eternal life after we die, but we have the joy of new life every day. As we have been called out of the kingdom of darkness into his marvelous light, I pray you and your loved ones enjoy this abundant life in Jesus Christ that his death and resurrection provide to each of us. Now check out a clip I just received from the church in Moldova as they present Easter cakes to the Ukrainian refugees they are hosting. cu voluntari de la biserică, am venit la refugiat, am venit cu ozonac, să ducem bucurie și să îi spunem despre Domnul Iisus Hristos, care este Dumnezeu și care este speranța noastră a tuturor. Să salutăm de aici, de la Moldova. Rome Baptist Church Men's Retreat will be May 12th through 14th, and I have the honor to be part of the planning committee and a speaker. The theme is the journey, and our sessions will be focused on where we are individually in our journey with Christ. Please pray God will use this time to minister to everyone who attends. Now check out some shots from our last men's retreat. As you are aware, I partner with a local ministry serving the homeless and needy. Weekly, we provide food, clothing, and blankets at the train station in the city center, and monthly, we provide families with groceries. 
twice weekly, the closed closet is open, and Fridays we have prayer and worship meetings. Please pray for the people who have so many needs because of the war in Ukraine, as well as families in need because of COVID and international refugees who are coming seeking help during this difficult time. This just arrived and I can't wait to open it and show it to you. Oh, wow. This is a dream and an answer to prayer. I am incredibly blessed. Thank you so very, very, very much. I'm gonna have a lot of fun setting this up and getting it ready to use in service to the kingdom of God. Thank you again, sincerely. Thank you very, very much for your generosity. Here are three very convenient ways to support the work God is doing through Mission Roma. Online at missionroma.com. From your bank, with QuickPay with Zelle, just use the email address missionroma at live.com. And by mail at the address on your screen. God bless you.